Luca is in deep trouble for breaking contract with Raziel and other things like that. Uki Violetta wants to become an idol and many, many more things, including some VTuber news that is about indies and other people in the VTuber space. All this and more in this episode. Those people who are unaware, of course, here's Uki Violetta, who recently had a big uh, issue with uh, talking badly about white people and being discriminatory against white people. And of course, a lot of people called him out on that. And, you know, a lot of people defended him on that. So we, of course, you know, have him here doing his thing. Uh, also, Fulger Ovid is, uh, I guess, making an April Fool's joke and he forgot to undo the, the April Fool's joke. They're all both a part of Nidhi Sanji. They're all both a part of, you know, different. Uh, he's part of Noctix and Uki Violetta is part of, I believe, Luxim, I believe. No, it might be Noctix as well. It's also Noctix. It's also Noctix. So. This is why I want to talk about both of them. The Jing Seoul thingamadoobs that they're doing is a whole big thing with jo Jog Seoul and Nidhi Sanji EN collaboration campaign in 2024 spring. It looks like it's it's hair care and skincare products. It is, you know, showing, beautifying them as much as they can. They are making this as beautiful to them as they possibly can. And I don't understand why. I, I, of course, it is a Nidhi Sanji uh, pushing them out into the front. It is Nidhi Sanji pushing them out to do something different, something new, whatever you want to call it. And this person is saying, oh no, is that skincare going to make me more white? What to do? I love Uki not. I don't want him to hate me because I'm not, I am white. Yeah, they're, they're going to keep doing this Uki thing. They're of course going to keep doing the Uki thing. No thoughts, only money. That's Nidhi Sanji in, in a nutshell. This whole thing, no thoughts, only money. And of course, Jung Joke Soul thought the same thing. They thought, of course, they're, they're a large corporation. They're a corporation that wants money, as all corporations do. And in this case, they're really looking for money. I hope another Taiwan incident happens in Niji Yen to see what happens. Oh, uh, the Taiwan incident is basically China hates when you mention Taiwan. China really dislikes when you mention Taiwan. They get really angry at the whole Taiwan thing. Uh, I check on the Google by the brand name, and apparently Shu has already collaborated them with them. Ah, so Shu, Shu Yamino, if I'm not mistaken, is another one who already did the brand collaboration five months ago. It must have gone really well for them to go back and actually have this happen with them again. If at the time they didn't start screaming, they won't do it now. Okay, I know Uki knows about the skincare and gave viewers tips or something. Some someone I know was a stranger. Uh, they told me Stargazer. They told me about something with that. But like Fulger is not the guy I expected to see on a skincare ad. Unless he's there only because of the cyborg angle. Maybe. Always remember to scream blanks at your mirror until you get red and angry. It opens your pores and allows you better hydration. Oh no, Uki, a white background. Get down. Get away, Uki. Jug Soul is a mainly Taiwanese company. I'm not sure if the current drama has managed to spread over there. And if it hasn't, this isn't a bad collab for Jug Soul brand. And it will allow them to sell more products. Of course, it. that's why they're doing it. They're doing it because it will bring more products. The main issue for them is the current drama... It has managed to spread to the Taiwanese fan base, and at this point, this would not be the best look for them. Also, as others have already mentioned, they have their collabs in EGM before, about five months ago with Shu, so they were still more likely to do a, a second collab if they have good experience with Niji. So yeah, that's the thing. They're going to have a, a, a different, like, they're going to have their own collabs. And, you know, whatever. I respect the fact that they're doing that. Um, I respect that uh, people are, you know, doing one thing or the other. I, I respect what they want to do. But yeah, if everyone remembers the Uki Violetta stuff, everyone remembers the things that happened with Uki Violetta. Um, in fact, I can, I'll search it up for you right now. People here, specifically, making a white person joke isn't racist. Literally half of my family is white and I grew up here because of those type of jokes. Y'all take those jokes way too seriously. Of course, this is why Uki has gotten away with what he's gotten away with. Because of the fact that people will just be free and be like, you know, whatever, whatever, do it what you want. Everyone knows the whole Uki Violetta white thing. You can look it up. You can look it up on Arnie Sanji. You can look it up on uh, more like virtual YouTubers. You can look it up on there if you want to see the full thing of it. But yes, this is definitely not something good for them. This is, you know, Jug Soul, which is their main. Uh, this is the actual place. Uh, their products, their orders. This is the big thing. See, look, they're pushing it hard. They've been doing those scrunchy things where you can put your hair back. They're doing, uh, it looks like, sample actual posters and things for them. They're doing for Japanese customers, for overseas customers. Things are different for each one. Uh, about shipping dates, this product is scheduled to be shipped sequentially according to the order starting from April 12th, 2024. Um, and of course, the products here that they're having here are all their skincare products. They don't look like bad, bad prices, $28. 20 you know 28 bucks etc and remember i i'm i try i always try to be a more serious uh vtuber now without you know the need to prop myself up with any kind of um huge amount of you know 
memes and stuff. I'll put one or the other in the beginning of the videos, but I won't put like a, a large amount of memes because I try to be a little bit more serious now with the news because you guys want the news. You guys don't want like a clown in front of you. He has decided to copy Hollow Life in their idol stuff. From the beginning, Niri Sanji really never has pushed people as idols. Niri Sanji really has never pushed their VTubers as idols, just as, you know, regular people. Maybe the closest thing I would think would maybe be Luxium, the way that they see them as, you know, kind of the golden boys. But uh, as far as I've seen in, at the very least, the way that they market their people, they're not marketing any of them as idols. And that's why it is interesting that they're marketing right now Uki Violetta, of all people, as an idol. And this person says, lol, I thought Niji Sandy doesn't like idol stuff. Now they want to copy Hololive. So they're copying Hololive and an idol because Hololive's making good money. So of course, they're going to be doing that. They're going to be going and making the same thing that Hololive is doing. And of course, as an organization, they have the right to do that as long as they don't like, you know, copy word for word, the type of stuff or like the songs and that kind of stuff, then they can do it. Uki can be an idol all he wants. We are not going to forget that Uki himself has been, um, this guy here has been, um, very, very bad and very uh, discriminatory against people who are of a certain skin tone, if you know what I mean. I laughed when the recent AR pictures were just normal shot with thin mic attached. This, though, feels entirely weird. Good on them, I guess. I suppose this will increase its traffic, which is the goal, and it will probably mostly turn into gotcha. See what Niji Sanji's doing in the end. Yeah, people are going to be using it one way or the other. The people who are on the side of Niji Sanji are going to be like, gotcha, look, look what they're doing. They're actually trying to do something. They're actually trying to, uh, you know, make something different, make new content, etc., etc. I mean, the promo, the old chart Photoshop, don't know what the AR video will look like. Yeah, this all looks very Photoshopped, very just, eh, you know? And um, that's the thing that you have to look at when you're looking at this. And let's see what else. Sorry, I got distracted for that. Niji Sanji wants to have cake and eat it too. We are not an idol like a certain agency. We are free then. Look at me, guys. And I cute. Cute like an idol, right? Exactly. That's what they want to do. Cute like an idol, right? And then just a, an R dude. Yeah. Basically, that's what he is. Competence is seriously a fiction, my friend. Niji Sanji, that is. Any color. Our livers aren't idols. Niji sister. Idol culture, bad. Hollow life, idol mentality, bad. Niji Sanji, livers. Let's pander to the parasocial idol fans, do concerts, and sing K-pop idol-like songs. Need your sisters. Whoa! Kamiyoshi Vox. Ooh, let me suck your blank. Fujo baiting? Oh my god, let's go, sisters! Yeah, that's what they're trying. All jokes aside, the rest of the VTubing industry is copying Hololive idol formula, whether they like it or not. Singing and stage performance is like necessary ingredient to promote yourselves and sell merch. That's why idol, that's why Hololive does it. Hololive originally wanted to be an AKB48. And uh they allow their their people under them, the VTubers under them, to do pretty much what they want in the sense of content, as long as it fits the content guidelines and they get permissions and all that kind of stuff. It's, if it's not NSFW, that kind of thing, then they're fine. They do these things. They do everything because it brings them money and um, they will continue doing these things because that's just the way things go. And it says, I mean, if you rely on SC streaming, a lot of streamers already have been doing that. It's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But it's just going to continue to be done. It just seems bad on Nidhi Sanji's side for them to be saying, first of all, we're not idols. And now, second of all, we are idols. Kuro Sanji, we are not an idol company. Also, Kuro Sanji. Meanwhile, Yago, we are an entertainment company. That's what they said. Yago and Hollow Lever trying to become like Disney, an entertainment company, a general entertainment company, so that it gives more freedom to their idols. And I like that, and I support that. Nidhi sisters are molding. They're going to keep molding. If you can read here... They're saying that Needy Sisters is, you know, dog -ass. Uh, They're saying that 4chan started it. It's it's an eight-year-old can do better. We decided to use it on our own word and then give a positive connotation. They're trying to do that. It's embarrassing. It really is. Uh, if I remember correctly, the name Needy Sisters came from a prominent Niji fan discord named something like the Niji Sanji Sisters and Brothers, right? And the fan fanatics in that discord usually refer to themselves as members or as sisters, is it not? Yeah, it's the TERFs complaining about being TERFs after coming to the term to apply to themselves. Stealth increases to 69. Uh, let's see, there's far more vulgar term they use for Niji Psychos on VT, not repeating unless it wants to be banned. Yeah, 4chan is really tough. Like, 4chan is not going to go for soft stuff. It ain't going to go for soft stuff. It really ain't. So stay safe behind enemy lines, brother. Absolutely. You got to be safe. And that's what this person's going to be doing. This person's going to be staying as safe as they could. Um, and of course they're going to. I mean, I want them to. I want them to be as safe as they can. As both Hololive and uh, Fan is ex Niji fan. It's cool. I'm just doing going here for the ride. And yeah, enjoy the ride, but be safe. And, you know, don't antagonize people because that just can make things worse. Explaining a little bit of what is going on with the Raziel document and what they think is happening. As this person says, False was talking for a while with Raziel about the experience, even before Selene stuff. He helped her make the con the, the actual content. 
I think they specifically chose to release the document with more info than a month ago now because everything calmed down and Niji's about to premiere the AR concert. Now, the Razale document is a correct way to do a document. You're not calling anybody out, not, not trying to make them into a creep, not trying to make them into anything skeezy, just pointing out things that you see that were an issue and um, that you want to resolve. Document release now screwed the company big time. You see, they, can, they can't afford to cancel Luca's appearance without delaying the AR concert. No time to edit him out. Another reason, editing him out now would confirm claims made in this document, which looks bad for the company. Yes, it will look bad for the company if they edit anyone out, especially someone who recently has a bad doc against them. You know what I mean? But on the other hand, keeping Luca in the company and such a big event for them looks just as bad because by doing so, the company confirms that they do in fact have favorites who can get away with much more than others. Good game, Raziel. False and whoever works with you, among other remaining livers. Even if it was a fluke, it was a good one. Her signature tweet was confirmation enough to see that they did acknowledge the signature thing because they've changed it. Luca probably got boxed, bonked, but they can't make it publicly noticeable, which is why I think they cucked his money cut for a while and going to get rid of him for some of the eh, the reasons closest to summer now this is just a rat of course this is just people making assumptions as people will do people will always make assumptions based on you know information that's out there and of course we'll make sh I i'm gonna make sure to always mention that it is absolutely uh a um an assumption is absolutely something that has been popped out by, uh, you know, just by people. You know what I mean? These next three months can't run fast enough. Next three months, Niji Sanji quarter three ran from November to January quarter 24. Uh, so yeah, they really can't make things happen too much. Um, like, that's the thing that's happening right now. Uh, casually drop a nuke to sink the yacht. In all seriousness, the document actually provides info how much some talents could deceive the fans, earning benefits from parasocialism, but do the bare minimum, which is really disgusting. After that, any remaining Luca fans will always have doubts, which they always can have doubts, about any new signed merch as they cannot be faked even if, you know, they cannot be sure if it's faked it again. That's the issue. You've lost trust. Once you've lost trust, then uh, you're really screwed. I mean, you really are screwed because the trust is everything. Trust is absolutely everything in this, in this thing. Personally, I believe that their safety status is going to be purely determined if Branch gets merged or not. So yeah, they could be merged out of it. They could be merged into JP and then forgotten about uh, the year investor in report and meeting right now. They are desperately trying to generate enough revenue to make their goals to the point where they indirectly confirm the fake signatures by drastically changing it up on his latest birthday run. So they're, they're, they're doing a business thing. They're doing the business move of making sure that things, you know, work out, that things uh, make themselves look good before the quarter four earnings reports. Of course, moving on to this one, uh, everyone. The Luca fans, the Luca peoples, the Luca Kaneshiro simps, whatever you want to call them, are um, LARPing as Hollow fans. And they're going to be doing that because they want to make Hollow Life look bad. They want to make the Hollow Life fans look bad. They want to make themselves look good by, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, because I wouldn't do this. I mean, I am a dumb squirrel, but I wouldn't do this. What kind of person has beef with Fuamoko? Even in their GGN days, uh, Gogo Nippon, they were wholesome as heck. Of all people, he chose to attack Fuamoko. Kind of dumb. Because Fuamoko has, like, really soft vibes, really, like, protective vibes. Um, they were always very, very say-so. They were always very caring, very, aff not affectionate with their fans, but they were just very caring fans overall. And it's, this thing says, most VTubers don't even sneeze once on stream, but Moko-chan here is sneezing nine times in a single collab. Bow, bow. And down there, we have, we promise to protect the most important thing to us, your smile, ruffians, bow, bow. Meanwhile, move to Japan to get away from their fans. That's a lie again. Uh, lie about morning show when it's not even morning for them, but it's morning somewhere. And I can see the morning in Japan or whatever. The main people who watch them, it's Fuomoko morning. It could be at any point in time. You watch it in the morning, you watch it in the afternoon. It doesn't necessarily have to be the afternoon. Like, these people are grasping at straws. It's the best way I can explain it. They're absolutely grasping at straws when it comes to this. We promise to protect the tea. Let's go again. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Y'all can't actually buy this S. It's legit infantilizing lies. Sesame Street S. I'm legit asking how do you find this by any means entertaining. This is not, this is, it doesn't make sense. It's, it's the lowest type of attack you can do. It's like, oh, they don't, they don't do it in the morning at daytime. So, or like at the morning at my time or whatever. So that's why they're wrong. Uh, dude, if you don't like them, don't watch them. Like, that's what I tell people. If you don't like Didi Sanji, you don't like whoever, don't watch them. But don't try to pretend that it's all like, oh, they're doing so much horrible stuff. Oh my God, they're, they're you know, they're such horrible people. My, how could they do this to us? You know, that kind of stuff. Don't, don't go and start, start that kind of crap. Especially with Fuomoko, honestly. I haven't seen Fuomoko do anything bad. I mean, they did like 60 straight days of Fuomoko mornings. They did like 60, 60 or 70 straight days of, of streaming multiple times a day. So they, they put in the work. 
these people, like like it's been said here, it's the last people you would think would need to be attacked. And say Fumoko even said that they know it is not a morning show everywhere, but it's morning show for them. So what the heck are they on about? And of course, they don't stream regularly when they are still settling in and aren't in an apartment where they can be as loud as they used to be. They will come back to regular streams eventually, but it's understandable why they aren't right now. Just sounds like they're so salty that there isn't much drama happening in Hollow as there is as Niji right now. And their attempts to spread anything they're fa they're failing at, honestly, it's just sad. Uh, well, Niji sisters now need a bigger target. Usually they always go for where is Gura, the Kurosanji nowadays, Kurosanji mess up. It's the biggest uh, scale, even when where is Gura can't be enough for the distractions. So they're trying to target another one with whole Niji sister dumb brain movement, you know? So, I mean, that, that that's, that's just, yeah, it's just dumb. It's 4chan. It's a much more toxic environment as many other places, including much of Reddit. 4chan is being anti for its own sake, asking everything all the time, against everything all the time. Yep, trolls do ask like this all the time regarding trying to push its weird pure Western English narrative for a Japanese company where the audience is into Japanese S. Looks like this is down to who did just that. The account got deleted already, so clear Nidhi Sister trying to make a scene. I mean, if it deletes quickly, it, you also look very, very suspicious. And of course, it's not going to look great on you. It never will look great on you. Uh, Nidhi Sisters projecting cause their Oshi, Vox Luca, deserted them for safe space of Billy Billy. Yes, Vox went to Billy Billy. Vox has not been doing anything on YouTube and has been doing some stuff on Billy Billy. We looked at that before. I think it was about a week ago or something. Oh, it's 100% projecting. Like 80% of Hollow Pro is in Japan anyways. And obviously, it's not going to be literally morning for everyone who watched Full Moko Mornings. That's what I said. Uh, you know, and if you want to talk about podcasts, whatever happened to Vox's podcast under the table fizzled out after six episodes. Seems like a low hanging fruit. Every part of the guy's green text contradicts another. It does. L LMAO somehow simultaneously both too plausible. Uh... That post made by Needy, Needy Sister, but unironically too stupid to run a PSYOPs LARPing campaign, leaving obvious stereotype clues in the screenshot. Post made by 4chan and running counter PSYOPs LARPing as a LARPer and planting clues to trigger confirmation bias. Some people think it's too much. Like, some people think there's a conspiracy when there's not. They could pick anyone, anyone in Hollow Life, and they went after Fuomoko. Seriously? Yeah, it's, it's Fuomoko... Like, I like Fuomoko. Uh, I liked them since... And Gogo -Go Nippon, back in the day, they were always very... Uh, wholesome twins they were always very connected to the community they were always great and they're great as fuamoko so i will just let you know that on my end they could have gone for anyone else and they probably would have had more ammo against other people other livers but not fuamoko this one is a defender of lucas signature thing it says i find it this person specifically is not a defender but is talking about a defender I find it pathetic that fans are defending the lack of a real signature by him indies hand sign their stuff a lot of indies do a lot of indies hand sign their stuff even if I have bad signatures, I will definitely hand sign my stuff. They're postcards or posters, and if it's too taxing to do, some do a gotcha system where they buy a postcard or poster. There's a percentage chance of getting a real hand signed signature instead of a daily digit digitally, digitally signed one. I just made it funny, sorry. There's a few large indie VTubers that also do hand cam signing streams, and you can physically see them sign their merch. It's really not that hard to do. At this point, any liver in EN can fake their signature and pass it on if off as their own. The fact fans think it's okay to get merch signed by someone they aren't even supporting is just so brain dead. Hell, the fans can mimic a signature and there you go. You got official Luca merch. It just baffles me how blinded some people are. And what they're talking about is down here. Loki, why do some of you aunties paint us as a sensitive? Like, do you think we care that Luca wrote his signature or not? It's not that deep. So these people are really, really sipping on that Nidhi Sanji Kool-Aid. They really, truly are sipping on that Nidhi Sanji Kool-Aid. They're going rough on that one. If you don't care about it, then why is the point of having it? Like, it's supposed to be something personal. It's supposed to be like the signatures that this guy's saying that they don't care about. It's supposed to be something personal, something that was signed for you, not just signed by a machine or photocopied the signature. Signed for you. Heck. Even Hollow Life does that. Hollow Life talents sign their stuff. Hollow Life talents go to the headquarters sometimes, do it at home sometimes. That's part of their homework sometimes. They sign their stuff. I know Matala Khan has done, uh, she's an indie VTuber. She's done hand cam streams where she's signing things. They are lying to themselves. The reason why Hollow Life makes bank on limited merch is the rush of fans trying to get their Oshi signature. Thousands sold out in one minute. Everyone wants a signature from Taylor Swift fans to Nidhi Sanchi fans because it's something personal that you can have from your Oshi. And Oshi is a very, very strong thing. So if you can have something personal from your Oshi, it is going to make you very happy. It is going to bring you a lot of joy. And it's going to be like something like, like, yeah, okay, I can buy this. That's not a problem. Um, and right here it says, every, let's see, now these uh, Nidhi EN fans are pretending that signature isn't important because they're trying to cope. 
They're trying to cope. They're lying to themselves. Looking at the past tweets, many of them were in love with his cursive and signature style. They ironically fell in love with a girl instead. So they're just angry that it was Raziel Warmonic, which we can see, you know, we have seen, it was Raziel Warmonic instead of um, their Luca, their favorite boy, their favorite person, uh, you know, that type of thing. So that's what they're looking at. And that's what ticks them off. The fact that it was a woman, a woman that they don't like, a woman that they claim groomed uh, Luca, which is there's no proof of that. There's zero proof of of it happening there's zero proof of any sort of any kind of grooming he was 18 she was 24 you can say age difference is a problem but they're both consenting adults in almost every part of the world they would be considered consenting adults and they would be able to have their own thoughts and make their own actions also actually just got to speculate or maybe confirm i'm pretty sure i heard a few hollow memes along the years talking about developing their signature but i'd still assume it sometimes if not most of the time, a group effort between them and management. Anyone here involving managers? Here's the thing. People can develop a signature. You can go to a signature specialist and be like, I want to make a signature for my, you know, like for me being, being a VTuber. I want to make my own signature as a VTuber. I can do that. I can straight up do that. You know, um, I can absolutely make it so that it is a, uh, a specific thing for me. You know what I mean? something specific for me and my fans that is different than what Luca did Luca pretty much copy paste and um like i don't have good handwriting so i would actually have to develop a signature for myself if i did any signature merch i would absolutely have to do a signature for myself and figure it out um uh, because my regular signature would be illegible and even if it, it it would be illegible to the point it doesn't even look pretty so that's another thing very tangentially related to this whole deal just curious now that i remember it as someone else mentioned in another thread we've heard plenty of times how they've been handwriting their signature for special merch and meet and greets. I'm getting that right. Heck, there were even just chatting streams while they did that. Yes, le less a direct answer and more general trend. Training a signature is 100% a thing, especially if that signature isn't for your own name. Like I said, for a VTuber, for a specific, uh, like for example, for Taylor Swift, if her name wasn't Taylor Swift or for like Iron Maiden, you do Iron Maiden instead. You need to do those type of things. For VTubers, it wouldn't be their direct um, anything really. It wouldn't, it would be the VTuber name. Like for Cinder, for Tricky V, for uh, Cottontail VA, for any of those people, they would have to train their signature for their their stage name. For example, Disney actors in the theme parks are taught how to do their character signature so that across the world and across time, a signature from, say, Cinderella is always the same everywhere else. And that's the thing. You want it to be the same everywhere. And that's why people do it. That's why I think this is this is like the need. The Luca thing, he didn't even try to train his signature, I don't think. I mean, it could be seen one way or the other, but the fact is, in this case, she was the one signing everything. If she said, look, this is a signature you can use, and then from then on, he used it, and it had, like, his, his weird squiggly writing or something like that, that'd be fine. But from what Raziel said, it was just her doing it the whole time. She signed everything, and that's the problem. More people defending a fake autograph, and here you see, I still don't see how the autograph thing is a big deal. Correct me if I'm wrong. But nowhere has Niji Sanji claimed that the merch was physically signed by the livers. As he says, autograph. Luke is a character in a pre-made autograph. Raziel traced the autograph for the handwritten cards. Whether it's her writing or a manager or Luca, it's still Luca's signature. There's nothing wrong, illegally reprehensible, about that issue whatsoever. Fans have the right to be disappointed over their personal expectations, but it's bold to claim that it makes Luca a liar. It is Luca's signature on the Luca merch. Generally fail to see the problem. This is a needy defender trying to make logic. Um, fans pretending to have some sort of PTSD and trust over issues over that is crazy. Same for the scripts. How many VAs you know the right scripts? You're paying for him to record the words, not write the script. Not saying Raz should have done it, but that's all in management. So the person says signature wasn't created by her in the first place. So what does she want to say here? She wrote the one mil message based on Luca wanted to write. He prepared the message line for her all along. Uh, she was a ghostwriter. Don't understand what she wanted to confirm. Not even a ghostwriter. She was a calligraphist or a scribe, which is true. She was kind of like a scribe for him. Also, now the needy sisters believe Raziel. So now they're believing Raziel. People really don't want to admit they were lied to, do they? It's not even his autograph since they didn't even sign it to begin with. And it's like, that didn't happen. He didn't break the contract. And if it did, it wasn't that bad. And if it was, it's not a big deal. And if it was, it wasn't his fault. And if it was, he didn't mean it. And if he did, he deserved it. It's, it's one of those like arguments that people put. Like those roundabout arguments. I see that. We appear to be somewhere between line three and four of the prayer. Like girls, you got swindled. He sold fraudulent merch. It's okay. Sometimes you get lied to and fooled. You can admit it. And if you're mad that your fantasy version of Luca wasn't real, there are plenty of other livers you can watch instead. Livers won't lie about their merch was made, but they are so desperate to keep fantasy going. They'll come up with anything to keep them, keep it from collapsing. And that is very true. They're in stages of denial. They're absolutely. It's denial. Still denial. They're still denial. They're not bargaining anything. Still denial. And it's just, it's not good. 
It's not a good look. Here's a person talking about Lucas merch again. The truth behind Lucas sign merch attaches an updated comparison photo of Lucas sign merch featuring not just two, but three different signatures and three different sources. Also below is a tweet she made proving that she did the 2023 signature. We'll go to the tweet soon. But the manager's signature is right here. This is the first bit, the original. Raziel's signature is here. It changed it a bit. It's it's pretty much, yeah, a little bit bigger on the L. The um Yeah, everything was a little bit thicker. Uh, and then we have the unknown birthday merch from down here at the bottom. Again, thing uh, here, the line is a little bit straighter. So yeah, they changed it up a bit. The um, the heart on the very left looks looks way more uh, deformed. It looks way more deformed. Doesn't look like an actual heart at this point. This looks way too small over here. So something changed over here. Never seen the birthday 2024 merch, the signature before. So I cannot confirm or deny who wrote it. This was obviously something different because you can tell by the strokes, it was different. Here are the strokes. Were a little bit straighter here the strokes were a little bit more slanted and exaggerated in some places and lowered in other places here it's also more balanced on the top left those are all those things there and raziel warmonic has the proof that they did the top right signature again putting it out there because people don't believe people don't think that she actually did it and of course i i when i went over the raziel warmonic full luca doc then yes i spoke directly about the full luca doc i made sure that everything was fully covered. And yeah, she did everything. You can see right there. And people are saying, so Luca can't even make a signature for their merch themselves. They had a manager that did it for them. Uh, wait, they have a manager that actually does work? Maybe it's a privilege reserved only for the biggest money makers? Because yeah, you remember Luca, Kaneshiro, and Luxium were taken to a very fancy sushi restaurant by Riku and told directly by Riku that if they needed anything to let him know. Him directly. So notice how Raz's handwriting got more character, personality, as in obviously written by a human. I got this unique cursive and line weight while the 2024 version looks like typed in a word Photoshop, then added or connected it to the heart. There's no lightweight line weight to add uniqueness. It's not unique. So of course he didn't do anything unique. Of course he didn't. A little bit of levity here, as I always try to put some levity here anywhere that I am. A little bit of levity, though a needy trash fire is still burning. Don't let that distract you from the fact that this thing, a piece of chicken, had its own 3D model before Luxium had their 3D model. So an effing fried piece of chicken had a 3D model before Luxium did. Let that sink in. Someone got a 3D model and made a 3D uh, in the VTuber space of a piece of chicken. And Luxium, the most favorite boys of Riku and the, the, the highest earners, didn't get it. They got beat by a piece of fried chicken. Actually amazing that Niji can't even be bothered to give 3Ds to the cash cows. It is. Said all the money to spend to make the stock price look pretty in front of the investor's eyes. Well, they can't even be bothered to give their livers a silver play button, which is $200 on average, which is an absolute pittance compared to what their livers earned them on their lifetime. For example, Petra's 3D earned about 15 play buttons worth of super chat money before YouTube's cut. In January, Pomo got 500 play buttons worth of super chats before YouTube's cut. So it seems ridiculous that they cannot write off $200 for mess for a measly play button and they can write it off it's an expense it's a business expense can't wait for pecora's monkey to get a 3d debut that's gonna happen it's gonna happen before dd santi gives uh some other livers their 3d peco mommy got it freaking pecora's mom who's not even a vtuber got her vtuber 3d debut for april 1st for god's sakes got it i mean it got a 2d debut but still she got a debut before freaking all these guys are doing this stuff it's quite sad it used to be top 3d tracking in the market in the past look at their famous uh lotion sumo back in the days yeah They've fallen hard and they've fallen strong. Just a reminder, don't let all this Niji Sanji drama distract you from the fact that a piece of freaking chicken got a 3D before Luxium did. A little bit more quick fire uh, indie news. Globy second generation Equinox and Solsta debuts announced. It's finally time to welcome our next generation of Globy. Say hello to Equinox and Solsta. Debuts start from April 2nd. I like the music. I like the music. That's a big debut. I like, I like, that looks like Polka. That's like Omura Polka a little bit. Fennec Fox, that's why. Vance Van Creed is June 17th. Wilhelm Vanderos is an owl. Okay. He's like Moomin. Yoma Kohaku is a white tiger. Nice. Nya, nya! Kitty. Kilovolt is a giraffe? Interesting, I've never seen a giraffe feature. That's actually, that's actually new. Rhubarb is a bunny. It's a rabbit. I like it. Bonnie is a dog. 
the cute long-eared dogs, not the, not the short like Pochi dogs. Well, I think Pochi also had long ears. We have a cow VTuber! Cow VTuber! Mama Milkers, cow VTuber. They're all in there. Eight, debuting at the same time, April 12th, 2024. They start on there. So that's when they start. I don't know how far they're gonna go, but that's when they start. And of course, people are saying their actual dates. Uh, Friday is gonna be two. Uh, the 13th is going to be Vance and Kohaku. The 19th is gonna be Kiri and Bonnie. The 20th is gonna be Alicia and Rhubarb. I always read it as glowy and getting confused. <laughs> that happens. Finally, I've been wondering where they actually debut. To me, it feels like they announced this gen uh, a bit too early and sort of left their upcoming debuts in a bit of a marketing limbo. Sometimes they get too excited and they do that. The next part is Tiro Tsukunoki is coming back. Thought she was gone forever after her health problems two years ago. So she took a two-year hiatus due to health issues. Of course, it's a personal thing, so she didn't mention the health issues, but she did have health issues. Um, the long night is over. She's now going to be out. Her fans can actually watch her now. Uh, I remember when she left two years ago. It was a sad moment for a lot of people because she, I mean, she had such a cute aesthetic. She seemed like a really good person. So it's very nice. It's going to come back on 4 5 24. So as of this writing, it, as of, you know, this recording, it's going to be on Friday, which is tomorrow for me. You may be seeing this on Friday itself. So it might be today for you. Another thing, this she used to be a 774 animare. So 774 Inc. is someone that is, is a group that I do enjoy. I don't get to watch them as much anymore because I do a lot of work, but I used to watch them a lot and they have good talents there. They're just not being pushed like uh, advertising pushes. They're not doing too many advertising pushes. Incredible news. Welcome back, Tiro san All the people uh, is amazing singer. Please listen. Found a translated clip of her first leave of absence. So yeah, she had to leave. She's a jackalope. So she had to leave. She's blind in her right eye, even before joining Animare. And she's losing her left eyesight. That is horrible. To be losing your eyesight, which we depend on. Like I depend on like crazy. That's why I wear glasses. I depend on it like crazy. It's crazy to lose that. It's crazy to lose that at any point in time. And I hope that things have gotten better. I hope that the degenerative issue has been fixed with the surgery or something like that, at least to make it so she has some years of eyesight back. I hope so. Another continuation of just a little bit more rapid fire news is Keisan Socho, the wonderful Keisan, who used to be Kiryu Koko from Hololive, is Keisan's official collab with Let's Go on on Yoji is going to be done. Let's Go on Yoji. Village Guard, they're actually going to do a full-on uh, collab. This looks like it is going to be, let me look at the actual Twitter. It is going to be a, um, by Village Vanguard, let's go Myoji, it's Kaysan Chief. Okay, I have a collaboration like this, vstore.jp, village-v-co. Can't wait until it goes on sale in stores. Here are pre-orders. This looks like a game. It looks like a game. Maybe it's an anime. Um. Oh, so the, it's, it's. It, wow, that's really nice. The, let's go Myoji, I think is a game, is an anime. And, um. Or a game or one of those things. But the 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 products, they're having a big on look look at all this stuff. That's a huge collab for her. Holy crap, congratulations, Kason. She deserves that. She absolutely deserves all this merch. She's been working her ass off for years with Kason and with Kiryu Koko. So she's done an amazing job. I'm really happy for her. Really happy for Kason Social. She's done she has been one of the kindest VTubers out there it's for big and small people. And she has wanted to progress the VTubing sphere not hold it back with hatred and, and competition and any of that kind of stuff. She tries to push it forward, which is what I'm fully behind. Now, Pochi Sensei goes over what her usual nightmares are. Says, I hear poor physical, my classical nightmare. Uh, poor physical condition, not enough credits, unable to submit a graduation thesis. Busy. I choose a pastry, but I can't eat it. My teeth fall out. I watch a plane fall from a distance. Interpersonal fatigue. I get mad at someone in my family. My grandma gets hit by a flood. Those are some bad dreams. Holy crap, woman. Those are some bad dreams. Be careful. Be careful with it. Hold yourself back. Holy crap, your brain thinks of some weird stuff. Teeth falling out when it's actually common. Set the psychological reasoning for it is when you're concerned of how others perceive your appearance. I haven't had the teeth falling out, although I always have people, you know, when I wonder how people see my appearance, but I haven't had the teeth falling out thing. I'm still in school. Nightmares are also super common. I've had those so many times. I've had ones where like, I already graduated high school, but for some reason I have to do the last year of high school all over again. But I know I graduated. I even show them my diploma and they're like, no, you haven't graduated. You need to finish this up. I'm like, dude, I'm like, I graduated like, what, five to 10 years ago? I graduated a long time ago. Like in my dream, it's like I graduated five years ago. What the hell? Why am I still here? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm at university for goodness sakes. Been out of high school for 15 years. Graduated from college for 10. And yet every once in a while, I will wake up to a start with a start, cold sweat running down my back with the thought of, oh God, I actually write at the X paper, X exam. I've had that happen to me too. Twitch can be strange with the way that it goes and polices things. 
if you get uh, mass reported, even if you're doing the exact same thing as someone else and you're not doing anything inherently sexual, not doing anything sexual at all, you can get reported and you can get mass reported and then you can get taken down. Now, um, this person is saying, I'm so tired, man. I've been streaming on Twitch for almost six years. That's a long time, longer than I have. I've been streaming on Twitch for about four now, uh, three and a half, three and a half actually. Never once been banned. I even got a partner proving that I actively bring in money into Twitch. So she's a partner, which means you can only be partner once you have, I think, above, above 60 regular and then you you know you you get more stuff from Twitch. And for all that, my good standing got removed instantly for having an emote of my character fully dressed on a toilet. Despite numerous back and forth, no one on Twitch support can tell me how my emote was vulgar and how the vulgarity can be fixed. They all just speculate what rule it could have been broken. So let it be known that even if you have been on this platform for years and work your ass off for partner, one person can maliciously get your emotes taken down and Twitch support won't help you at all. Hello, Pomato Master. Apologies for the delay. As mentioned, we are not able to comment or offer additional insights on the re emote removal. We can speculate on the emote the Pomato Pee Pee Poo Poo might be going against emote guidelines. <clears throat> Vulgarity, such as obscene or explicit words, phrases, gestures, like as the Pee Pee Poo Poo was too much for them. Um, please note that our moderation team does check emotes and remove the ones that are not abiding by our guidelines. As a result, some perks such as the instant emote upload might be locked until your account is in good standing again. Could you try to change the name of the emote just to be the toilet instead of pee pee poo poo? Don't know. I've been given no clarity in the name of the emote. So it could be the name of the emote. It's the name. It was auto rejected. Keep using this. Um, yeah, it, it might've been auto rejected. It was a pre-existing emote that had been fine for two years. It was removed with four other emotes out of the blue last week, likely due to a report. Twitch, no poop jokes allowed. Also, Twitch, let's promote porn on our front page, and they do. I'll be honest, I think they're updating the AI to auto-ban things like emotes in their system based on key phrases because I've seen things with similar naming getting removed now more than ever in this past week or so. It's honestly really infuriating, especially because it seems like an automated system where you can get uh, you can even really communicate yourself. It says, here is part of why I'm glad competitors are rising up that can depose Twitch. A kick, for example. I don't understand why I just can't say this was this was taken down. Uh, why it was taken down. This is exactly why it was taken down. Hear me out. I've only seen like one or other post in this, so ignore me if I'm being an idiot. And you've already tried this. Have you tried resubmitting the emote on potato peas or something like that, except it under a different name? I'd be going against emote guidelines. Might is it or is it not? Exactly. Is it or is it not? Sorry, they actually saying pee pee poo poo or vulgar. Do people on Twitch not defecate? And also, really, when you, when you have people showing boobs. When you have people showing cleavage, when you have people taking off shirts to show bras and stuff, when you have that type of stuff, you're allowing that. And then you have the pee pee poo poo jokes that aren't allowed. You're weird, Twitch. You're weird. And you're simping. You're obviously simping. So that's, that's, that's just you. That is you. You be you. Uh, if the modernization moderation team does check emotes to say, shouldn't they be able to tell you exactly what emotes they were? And we're going down. But other people are very sorry to hear that. Uh, it's going to be naming. And unfortunately, this is all support teams everywhere. So an emote can make you lose partner. So some partners showing an SFW stuff is fine. I don't get how Twitch can be about that game one day, then becoming a cam girl site. They did become a cam girl site pretty much with their with their hot hot tubs and stream and uh, and pool streams. This is why Twitch sucks and no longer should be supported. It's crazy to me judging that if you go to certain categories, there's literally someone some of the most down bad horrendous things being streamed, but not Nemo. Sorry, Pom. Probably the only thing that will ever make Twitch be held accountable is streaming unionization. You know things like this. This person is like. I guess the vulgar, according to Twitch, I guess that would be vulgar. Yes, it would. Down here, uh, never forget Pilot PB. Yeah, exactly. Never forget that they allowed this. They allowed this. It will never make sense. They allowed this, but they didn't allow a fully closed pee pee poo poo joke thing, you know? And it says, you must stop drawing. Why? You're on the layer. Okay, this is other stuff. This is other stuff. Okay, now let's go to the things that they're writing. Someone said that this can actually be shown on Twitch and it, and it was there. Um... My lovely VTuber friends, if you stream on a purple app, consider strongly checking that the naming conventions of your assets cannot possibly be misinterpreted. You have to check, have to make sure. Twitch simply does not care about its content or creators. And that's all that's been on there. So yeah, we can have this here, but we can't have a fully dressed one. That's just the weirdness that I'm seeing here. It's it's double speak. It's just like, I don't know. They're they're just wanting to make their own rules and follow them whenever they want. I'm going to go for it on the uh, regular VTuber news, not on uh, going on the Jusanji stuff. Uh, they're going to be doing more designs this group right here is mechanical keyboards m crow i know i know a lot about them because i think iris has some of theirs uh other people have some of theirs they're doing keycap keycap sets they're doing the full designs of the keycap sets for for v shoujo they're doing fruit they're going to be doing um hime hajime as well and they're doing kason they're doing v two v shoujo girls and hime hajime the alien inspired design hime hajime brings out of this world look at your desk these are all keycap designs uh so v shoujo ones with fruit and things like that Save the date, dropping this all Thursday. Maker plus Fushoujo, Infinity is doing this. <clears throat> They're all 
going in this, Infinity is the keycaps, the the Infinity is doing the keycaps, and Macro is doing the actual keyboards. Like you have actual keyboards there. Props to each and every one of them for getting that type of thing out there. Props to every single one of them for getting themselves out there and getting uh, business opportunities. It's very good. I'm very happy for them. Although it doesn't matter whether I'm happy or not because I'm tiny, but I'm happy for them and I hope it goes well. Thank you for watching. Please comment down below, of course. Let me know what you think. Let me know all of the things that you think and how you perceived everything that I had. If you had any questions, any anything that you want to mention. My socials are also down below, including my Discord, which is a nice, safe place. It has a little bit of extra stuff because we, we've been getting raided recently. Uh, there are malicious people out there, so we have to protect our Discord server. Also, please take care of yourself. Take a look at the video that I have in front of you. Keep being the wonderful people that you are. Be safe, hydrate, and just have a great day. Bye-bye.